Welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Srinivas. In this video, how to access the information of an object using functions we will see. So, continue with that last video. Here, we are taking one class, the class we are using like demo and we are storing the information inside the object using constructor in the previous examples we have seen. And of course, the constructor we are using argument type constructor using argument type constructor suppose x and how to store information inside the object using keyword this x value will come and store into this variable a and now here we are creating objects two objects we are creating like d1 equal to new demo and we are passing the value 10 and next one here it is we are creating one more object new demo and with a different value suppose 20 we are passing two values we are passing. Now, I want to access the information. What is the d1 value and what is the d2 value? So, here only I want to access. We are just calling one function called display. Display one function. This is. And inside that, I want to display that object. I want to display that information. Here it is a simply console.log. Here I want to display this a value. Clearly, we are calling like this. Here d1 dot function name is a display on which object you have called d1. So, here it is a display function execute display function and inside I want to access. Here it is how to access means what this dot a this is pointing to current object. What is the current object on which object you have called this display function here. Here we are calling the display function on d1 object. So, this is pointing to d1. Inside the d1, what is the a value is a 10. So, 10 will be displayed. Suppose here it is if we call the display function on d2, d2 dot display. The same function execute, but the pointer is pointing to d2 now this. So, that a value is now 20. This is how to access by calling inside the class suppose if you want to access we use that variable called we use the keyword called this and here we are accessing we are accessing here it is it will display values are 10 and 20 here we are printing itself sir we are not printing here we are just using one function suppose get a whenever you request this function it will return the value for example return this dot a Again, here we are calling d1 dot what is the function name? Function name is a get a and here it is a d2 dot get a function. It is returning that value. So, the value we have to collect and display. So, directly console dot log here it is a value we are printing. Can I give any message means what? Yes, you can give the message also console dot log of d2 d2 dot get a whenever we call get a on which function on which object you have called d1 d1 so same story it is pointing this is pointing to this d1 object it will return a value that a value we are collecting and displaying here displaying and next one here it is we are calling the d2 dot get a so this is pointing to the d2 object so a value is a 20 the 20 it is returning to here, it is returning the value. So, here whenever we are executing the program, you will get that output 1020 in different ways using different types of functions, we can access the values either we display or we access the values, we are just getting the value right. So, these are the two ways, all these functions and all these programs what we have discussed as of now, we are using in the coming videos to implement stack, queue and other data structure and algorithms using JavaScript. So, please practice all these examples based on these examples only classes, constructors, right, object based methods and all, we are implementing the following things, ok. Hope you understood. For more videos, please subscribe to Narayshati channel. Thank you.